All right, guys, we're back out here. We're gonna level these trees out. This is the demo. These trees, all these trees with the ribbons on them, gotta go and everything. Basically, everything's gotta kind of go this way, you know, away from the boathouse because I can't afford to hit that or bounce off a tree and knock a top off in the boathouse or something. So, yeah, shouldn't be too hard. There's another, there's a neighbor across the neighbor. <laughs> He's across the lake. That's considered a neighbor in our woods. And uh, he's got a chainsaw and he's been helping Tim, the guy, the GC of this project out and everything. So, and then the dumpster guy, he said that he would help out getting everything going. getting everything out of here such as the brush and the trees he said he'd take the trees the logs for like dirt cheap and everything so that's super awesome of him to do that <sighs> so yeah we'll i'll get the machine started and uh get that going and whatnot and and start pushing some trees over. Oh man, I forgot to put that stuff on top. Oops. <sighs> Sounds like the heat's on at least. Not the cold air. Still Bluetooth to my phone. Turn that down a little bit. Turn that, that down. All right, yep, we'll get you started and uh, I'll let this thing warm up a little bit. All right, we've been clearing a little bit. Mm -hmm. A big old pile of brush started already. This is some hardwood right here. We'll take this out. Put it with the birch. The whole motor wants to keep the birch. That's fine. It's not the best wood to burn with, but he wants to burn it. He can burn it. Like burn it as in he's gonna burn that stuff indoors which it's not that good of a wood to burn indoors. Maple's your best bet, dries nice, burns nice. We're gonna try to break this top off. Something broke, that's good. That tree guy is unavailable until afternoon, so I get to cut everything. He probably would have had this all sliced, diced, and minced for me. He's got a nice sharp chain and he knows what he's doing. Um, know what you're doing is half the game when it comes to chainsaws. We got some trees cut up. I don't want to cut too many of these up down in that hole so I'm gonna pull them up and then cut them
All right. Move some of this brush out first, maybe. that steak. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, he remarked. Okay. Well, your, st your other steak's gone. Where is it? Is that it? No. Oops. So he's got one steak there, which is good. I shouldn't have to hit it. You know what, 
just just fall. Just go ahead. No, just go. Come on. You know you wanna. to the driveway from here. I'll talk to that guy about that because he's going to haul the fill for me. The dumpster guy. If it's edited out in the other videos, he is an excavation company, so he has dump trucks. So he's not just a dumpster guy. They actually were an excavation first before they were a dumpster company. Or he bought dumpster. Funny story, which once again I think I mentioned this but I might get it edited out because I don't really, I'm just a quick editor. You know, I don't screw around with all that crap. I kind of like, let's dig. Um, keep where I was going. They've been around for a while, for a long time. It's three boys and a father, three sons, and they're not boys. But three, three, uh, three sons and a father run his business. His father started the excavation company. They, he called it a hostile takeover, uh, the company. And uh, they do really well for themselves, that's for sure. And it, it's probably because of the boys getting into it. And uh, he's like, yeah, my dad never once bought a high piece of ground in his life because like it wasn't until me when I started buying high land and making pits and everything that uh, we had land to do stuff on such as have pits and everything and being able to burn and all this other stuff I mean they could burn back then when the laws weren't so strict now you need some like permits pretty uh, serious permits and everything to burn. He's a super nice guy. The whole family's really nice. I, you will never hear, there might be a thing here and there like, oh, they didn't show up. Or uh, they were late. It's like, man, that's just doing business up here. We, they have no employees. It's just them. And uh, yeah, it's they're one of the largest excavation guys around. When it comes to how many jobs they're doing, how many projects they're taking on, they they're not a small. They're a small outfit, but they're doing a lot
so we're almost out of fuel i gotta go get fuel and everything and but we got this pile of brush that we need to move over there and obviously all this needs to be cut up these trees here need to be taken out this i think stays some of these lost their ribbons pretty much all these ones that have dents and dings on them only to go these over here need to go towards the boathouse needs to go and everything and then next to the boathouse too so it'll be interesting those ones down there all right but yeah i just didn't get that tank ready transfer tank ready so now oh man it's just gonna be such a bear filling this thing i don't know where all my diesel cans i think i had four or five diesel cans but i can only find three of them so yeah which is great but if you guys kind of like this stuff go ahead and comment like subscribe the usual youtube stuff and everything and uh yeah that'll be about it now see you guys next time